So I've been trying to regain order in my garage for a while. And uh, ever since I got back down here from my trip up north to sell the house and everything. And yesterday I walked in here and I suddenly had a feeling of great joy. And it's because I could see a clean floor. You know, it's been a while since I've seen a clean floor. And my entire floor isn't clean, but there's a piece of it here. Oh, just look at the sunlight shining on this piece of clean floor. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that wonderful? Well, it is to me. <sighs> and as I go along, there will be other things like shelves and spaces that are clean, which is what I want. My goal, my goal in life at this point, well, I shouldn't say my whole goal, but one of my goals in life is to have a clean garage. I want to have a clean garage. I want a garage that's not cluttered up with dirt and junk and, and, and stuff. Um, I'd like to have it so that everything that's in this garage is something I need to use. Uh, and everything that ain't in this garage is put somewhere else where it can be kept safe uh, without me having to look at it every day. And that's what I've been doing here. Um, I put wheels on these tables so I can roll them around and sweep under them. I got another little project right here waiting for me. This is my dad's old cart. And it's an old craftsman. It's an old craftsman roll around cart that you would sit on and you roll around your car while you're working on the car. And at some point the top broke and I put this piece of wood on it, a good piece of main hemlock. And these screws have gotten loose and these wheels have commenced to falling off. And these wheels look like they have little, uh, what do you call these things? It looks like it's got little Allen head screw bolt things in there. Let's pull one of these off. If you pull one of these off and look at it, this is what we have. Now this right here is exactly like this one right here that's broke. But this one here isn't actually broke. I put that nut on there by the way. What's happened is this screw came off of it. And you'll notice all these others are loose too. So what needs to happen is these screws need to be tightened up. And I need to come up with a way to either find a nut like this or make something that'll work. And I had thought about making a longer, like going on to here and welding. Let me hold this so I can get that off so you can see it. Maybe weld another piece of screw that'll come up through this and I can put this nut on it. That wouldn't be so bad because I don't sit down here. This is just a tray to hold parts with. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I do know that this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work on this. So, let me put y'all back over here. I will locate me some appropriate Allen head branches and I'll tighten up what I have. And then we'll ponder over what to do about that there next. So, y'all hold on, I'm gonna go get me an Allen head wrench and fix this. I know right where they're at, because I've been cleaning out my toolbox and making things be organized. Oh, just look at it! It looks so good over here. Oh. By the way, while I'm doing this, I'll give y'all an update. Uh, I talked to Rusty Acres this morning. He is coming to here probably on Sunday night coming up. Uh, he's planning on bringing that trailer full of stuff that any of y'all that's been watching my videos long enough saw him up in Maine with that giant homemade 30 foot four axle trailer and that great big long stretched out uh, Dodge van. And he hauled away a bunch of my stuff and he took it down to Florida with him because it was, uh, you know, he had to get back to work. He actually drove that van right into the Disney World parking lot where he works. I shouldn't have said that probably where he works because that might have been top secret. But anyway, he drove that van straight from my house to his place of work and then worked all night. And he's caught up on his sleep later on. But he's talking about bringing it back up here along with my stuff. And then we're going to jump in the Prius and we're going to go to New Jersey. Because New Jersey is where One Lonely Farmer lives. And One Lonely Farmer has gotten my Dodge truck. Previously my dad's Dodge truck. 
when Lonely Farmer's gotten that thing running and he's driven it around some and has proclaimed it to be fixed. So if I can go to New Jersey, we can go up there and get the Dodge truck and bring it home along with the rat rod, which is on the trailer. Y'all might remember I, I hauled the rat rod on the trailer and I left it with one lonely farmer because I wanted to bring home that other trailer that got soaked in the flood. By the way, if y'all ain't seen the flood video, you might want to go watch it. It's, it's down in there somewhere if you scroll down. Just look for a video that says something like uh, uh, man saved from, man rescued or from flood by farmer or something like that. Anyway, if you look around there, you can do searches of videos. Just look for farmer, it'll probably pop up, although you might get a lot of one lonely farmer videos too, but that's not a bad thing because he's a good fella. Now, where am I going to ever find one of those? Probably won't. Maybe the welding is something on this. And I actually see this has the exact same thread. So if I welded, if I was a good enough welder to cut this head of this bolt off and put that right onto here and then welded that, I could put that back on there. Now this might be the kind of welding that I do better with with my wire welder over here than my big arc welder because a big arc welder can often burn up a piece of metal like that. But that wire welder is makes a small enough weld. It might make sense to not continue here, but to work on the wire welder and get it working. And once I get it working, I get it working, then do this weld right here. So here's what I think I'll do. I'm gonna set this I'm gonna set this, I'm gonna set this, this wheel caster with this screw and this bolt, and I'm gonna set them right there. And we'll leave them right there. And then I might turn my attention to that Lincoln welder that's sitting over here. Bring y'all over here and show you that. This might be my task for the day up here is fixing this uh yep that might be that might be what i want to work on next we'll see What I'm doing here is I went looking for a piece of pipe that I could make that funny looking bolt out of and I ran across a nine millimeter pistol shell casing right here and I have hammered it I have hammered it and driven it this bolt into that shell casing. So basically what I've done is I've created something that that would screw into. I think I'm going to keep going. I don't know where I'm going to end up at, but I'm going to keep going. That's how I roll, baby. That's how I roll. if I unloosen that it's kind of crooked in there but what happens if I unscrew that I dropped that on the floor and it went way over yonder it seems to be trying to escape from me
Okay. What I've got, I don't know how long it'll hold up, but I've got a situation where I can screw a nine millimeter pistol shell onto the end of a bolt. It matches the thread of the bolt over there that I want to attach to that roller to make it work. Hmm. What are we gonna do with that? Ain't sure yet, but let's take a look at it. So, so if I put this wheel here. Put that wheel there. And I'll take this pistol shell. I'll put it down in the hole there. I screw this onto that. I can already see at least one reason why this probably won't work. It's not long enough. That's what I was thinking I could do is flatten this head down once I get to, to go on there and stay on there. Bigger pair of pliers. One of the things you sometimes have to get used to when you're attempting to do something that may fail is that it may fail. And you have to be willing to invest enough energy into it so that if it doesn't work and it does fail, you're not really out of much. You're still okay. That's kind of where we are with this. I don't have too much invested in this so far. Well, let's keep going, see where we wind up. Okay, now that officially has failed because the, the shell casing broke. So that isn't gonna work, but now I know one way to fix this that doesn't work. So, here we are. Now I know one way not to fix it. Okay. Okay. Maybe what I'll do is go back to working on that with the idea of welding something to that later. Hmm. 